Hello and welcome back to Creatorverse. I'm Siamco with the Shadowcast and CoGamers.net and today I want to go over the Creatorverse update R31. Um, you can always find this information on their Steam community page. Um, and they put it up in kind of a list format. Um, I want to do this video so I can show you uh, the changes in a more practical and applied um, setting. So. Uh, diving straight in, um, this R31 update was centered around their blueprint changes um, before they would uh, sell you blueprints for coins that you would buy um, uh, from Playful themselves, the developers of Creativerse. Um, but now you can actually craft those blueprints and then what they sell are the block packs to actually build out those blueprints. So I think it's probably going to be a, a welcome change. Um, so. There's some other things that they actually added to in, in this update as well. And I want to start here at the uh, loading screen. So loading screen has got some different things. Uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is come up here to the settings icon in the upper right hand corner. And you can notice this account settings uh, screen is a little bit different. And we now have this customized bot button here. Um, the character avatar inside uh, Creativerse has got an update changed. Um, looks more like a uh, more like a teenager or a, a, a 20 year old young person rather than before it kind of looked like maybe a 10 or 11 year old that was actually um, the, the character here um, got an update uh, to the um, mining cell as well uh, it was kind of a th much much thinner glove now we've got this uh, Hellboy style uh, glove going on, which I think is pretty awesome. And then they've added a backpack as well, which I think is kind of cool. It looks pretty good. Uh, so you can select here um, for gender, and then you can switch between uh, a male and a female character. Um, you can go to the head section, which will control your skin, hair, and eyes. And these are just the only thing you can really do right now is change the color. And when I say the color, most of it is tinting. Um, so the colors that are down here are not going to exactly match all the time the colors that are on your avatar. But it's more of just tinting um, the existing colors on the avatar to a little different uh, scenario. Lots of different colors. Um, lots of crazy colors, pinks and reds and greens, which I think is really kind of cool. Makes it a lot of fun. Um, you can change your uh, shirt color, uh, the base color, and the trim color. Um, and then you can also do your pants, um, the trim color on your pants, and then also your shoes, which will also control your sock color. Um, but that's for character customization. Once that's done, you just hit done, it saves it, done, go back, save your account. I don't know if you heard that little sound there, um, but there are some sounds now whenever we're selecting different things. Um, so we'll go ahead and go into the Thedrial world. And you can hear a nice little sound effect there. And then, ooh, it's so excited that we're jumping right into the game. That's great. Um, let's see. while we're loading up. So uh, character customization, new character models, um, and then whenever we get in, we'll go over the rest of the character model changes. So character model changes, here we are. We look slightly different than what we do um, out in the, the uh, character creation screen and that's because we have uh, uh, upgraded uh, armor and that changes out to, to pants and you know we've got uh, our boots and, and different things and that brings us to here here's all the power gloves you can see them those all look uh, slightly different it's nice easy uh, easily identifiable to tell which one that you've actually got uh, on at a glance um, and then we've got some new armor icons. 
the pauldrons are now shoulders. Um, so if we go back to here, we used to have a helmet. This top uh, section was helmet. Now they've replaced it to shoulders. And I think that's because we're going to get a lot more customization with the heads and faces and hairstyles and things. And why would you want to customize all that just to have it covered up? So um, lots of new uh, artwork for the uh, armor. Uh, one other change that I will go over real quick is in furniture. Here it is, uh, fire pit. Oh, crap. Um, get the fire pit now. All you need to do is put down a torch or pick up one of your ex existing torches and it will automatically give you the <coughs> fire pit. So let's see. Let's put this here. Kind of anticlimactic. Let's turn our let's turn our um, visuals. Let's turn that to fantastic. Just hit accept. Hmm. The fire. Uh, let's log out. Let's go. Lots of new sounds with all the different, uh, all the different uh, menu options, which is nice. That's a nice added change. It seems fairly subtle um, to have that go into effect. I don't, I don't know. They seem like maybe they changed the way the fire looks. I know that I have changed my. Um, my graphical settings to try to get a little bit more FPS boost whenever I'm actually recording. Let's see what I can look. Uh, no, it's still the same. Okay, well, anyway, there you go. You got it. You got the idea. Um, okay, some, some more menu changes. If you look down at our stamina and our health bar, uh, stamina and health bar has changed. Uh, also, the entire hot bar has kind of been rearranged a little bit. Uh, the E, Q, M, and T used to be in a cluster on the left-hand side. It's now been distributed across the top, and the left and the right-hand side across the top. Um, everything else looks about the same. Um, going in for um, more HUD options, uh, we now have blueprints right here. Um, blueprints are something that you can just craft. Um, so you're going to craft a cornerstone. It's going to cost you 20 and 5. And then that, uh, craft a cornerstone and collect the blocks and build the blueprint. Cornerstone will show you where to place them. So it's just going to show you how to build this. It's kind of like a paint by number, but it's like a build by number. Um, total number of blocks used to build this blueprint. Click here to see all the materials required. So we can check that out. Decorative wood wall. Hmm have that one yet decorative wood floor nice okay or you can go ahead and get uh, get the kit and build it now and then you buy that with coins and what it does is it's going to give you all of these blocks um, for 700 coins and then you'll get them all and then you can use your cornerstone go ahead and fill them all fill them all in but then you don't have to go out and harvest and like I said with me like I don't have decorative wood wall yet I don't have a decorative wood floor yet. So I'd have to find those blueprints just to be able to um, build that um, part exactly the way that the uh, blueprint says. So, but got some nice little tabs up here at the top. That's always nice. Um, you can still hit the hotkeys Q, E. Um, don't know what the hotkey is for blueprints. Maybe there isn't one, but Q and E still goes between these two uh, as well um, okay the next part that I think is gonna be good to talk about would be um, you can do slash ignore if you've got somebody um, who's in chat you're just gonna do chance slash ignore um, space and then whatever the the players is that you want to uh, actually ignore um, there's another, um, 
there's another command that's going to be really good for for uh, world admins to be able to use, <coughs> and that's uh, the ability to set uh, a world spawn. Um, before Creativeverse, you would just you would just spawn kind of randomly um, throughout the world. Um, now uh, uh, admins are going to be able to come in here and uh, set these world spawns um, like so. So we're going to hit slash set spawn, boom. And then I set the new spawn point to right here. There we go. Okay. That's our spawn build that we're working on. So that's very nice so that we don't have to actually um, uh, set a teleporter there for everybody to be able to get to and then have to try to share the code with everybody so they know how to get to that to, to that uh, position. Um, HUD improvements we already talked about. Creature behavior. Um, we've got some uh, some pathing and uh, aggro range changes. Uh, door improvements are kind of interesting. Uh, before, whenever you would go and you would open up a door, only one would open if it was a double. Uh, now, whenever you... Uh, now whenever you open the door, um, they're both going to open up and close. And they also will open from both ways. So we come inside, they're going to open out this way. So they're always open away from you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, the other big one is, and this is one that I wanted to spend a, just a minute on talking about, and that's handling your pets. So, let's go down here and handle some pets real quick. <coughs> Excuse me, we got allergies that are driving me a little bit crazy today. Okay, so... Um, I want to be careful whenever I do this, but what you want to be, what you can do is you can actually target one of your pets like this. You see how they're kind of outlined in white there. And then what I can do is I can hit Y and that will cause them to follow me. You can see that. Boop. He's going to teleport. Um, out because uh, I moved into a situation where he can't um, follow. Now, if I hit you, um, I can I can run over to here and say I want to run over, want to run over to a certain spot, target that spot, hit you. He's gonna walk to that spot. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's supposed to work. Okay. Well, if you target, uh, you're supposed to be able to target a spot, hit you. They're supposed to wander to that spot, or you're supposed to go to that spot, and then start wandering from there. It doesn't seem like he's working. So, um, if I just hit you on him while he's targeted. He's going to wander on his own. And then if I just do like this and hit Y, I don't even have to be targeted on him, but it's going to call every pet that's close within that range to come to you. So you need to be very careful. I was in my barn earlier and I was doing that and oh my God, I had all the animals stuck on me. It was horrible. So now that I've got him following me, um, let's say that I wanted him to sit right here specifically. I can, can target that block, hit I. He's going to go to that block and that's where he's going to stay. Now he's no longer following me either. So in order for me to give him another command to go to a different spot, I'm going to need to target him again, hit Y, come to this spot, hit, well. So if I hit Y and I go to there, he'll move to the new spot. 
Um, that's going to be super helpful. Um, the only thing I will say is... Let's get this guy. Let's get him back into here. And maybe this is something that they can look at. I don't know. Okay, so see, he's not actually inside this enclosure. So... There, he actually will go to that spot. Um, we can target him again, get him turned around. Now he'll be facing me. Um, but if you can notice, all these animals are all looking this direction. And if you look at these animals, they're all looking in this direction. And my pigsies are looking in this direction. They're all looking north. So, um, I had all of them looking out towards the center here, and then whenever I reloaded the world and came back in, they were all facing north. Um, so I think that's the same situation for like whenever we spawn in at a certain spot, we're always going to be facing north as well. So aesthetically, if you're wanting your animals to always be looking at you in a certain way, you might want to tailor your builds uh, accordingly until, until they change that. Um, so that was... Uh, y orders nearby pets to follow and can also highlight one pet and hit Y to have just that pet follow you. You orders uh, following pets to wander wander again starting from the targeted block. I orders pets to stay uh, on the targeted block. And then all these keys can be reassigned um, to whatever fits you best. Um, got some AI improvements. Death statues, you can only claim your death statue now. Nobody can steal your stuff. Like, so if you die across the map and you're trying to get there and then somebody wants to go and steal your things, they can't do that anymore. Um, scroll bar was added to the crafting panel, which is this here, which is helpful because what happens is this. So you see how this is cutting this half off right here? Um... It wouldn't be such an issue if whenever they just had this scroll, it actually went whole lines, but it doesn't. It kind of goes all over the place. So they put the scroll bar in so you can actually get to where you want to be and stop. So that's helpful. Uh, how much are place your shoulder pads? We've already talked about that. And then um, we've got a load of bug fixes. And I'll let you go ahead and go to the Creative Earth Steam community page and read the bug fixes. Um, a lot of them aren't going to pertain. So, um, pets, armor, a new look, customization, um, some doors, um, and blueprints. Blueprints are pretty amazing. I'm going to really try to utilize those. I'd like to see them be able to put it in so that we can actually... Um, submit blueprints of our own for people to be able to to be able to have and craft and rate and like and and do different things and possibly subscribe to uh, individual designers that are designing uh, blueprints and subscribe to them in game um, but then uh, it would also be kind of neat I was kicking around the idea that uh, you know whenever you come in here and you get a blueprint somebody does this and they come and they buy this from playful with these coins that maybe the the author of the blueprint would get like a one percent kickback so like a, a like seven coins for every for every person that would uh purchase um each interval and each individual thing so something to think about but uh that's it for this episode i just wanted to go over um the r31 updates and like i said a little bit more of a practical um and applied manner um, so you can see some of uh, how they these things actually interact. Um, so this is uh, Samco with uh, CoGamers.net and the Shadowcast. Please come and see us on uh, our Creativeverse world. Um, search for CoGamers.net. Uh, it's the Thadrial world. The password is 5507. Um, we'd love to see you here. And until the next episode, this is Samco, and I'll see you then.